Hello everybody, this is Tim from the Nintendo Dads. Wanted to share with you and hopefully you guys can hear me fine. Check the sounds. Sound levels here. Looks good on my end so far, but if anybody jumps on and you're on and watching, just let me know how I sound and I'll make sure and make adjustments. But I'm getting ready to check out Lost Wing for the Nintendo Switch. It is a game that is going to come out on the 31st of July. And if you're watching this, uh, you should be able to purchase it. Um, actually, that's something I forgot to look up. So let me go look that up real quick. This game... Just wanted to get this started, That's so I sometimes forget to look that up because I can't see it after I've already downloaded it. So, Lost Wing is in doo -doo -doo -doo. prices, come on. United Kingdom is $7.19, looks like it's on sale there. And why can I never see the US price? So if it's $7.99 normally priced there, I'm guessing it's around $9.99 here in the United States. And um, my trusty site is letting me down. So I'm just gonna have to find another way to do that. But I'm guessing it's around $10 and possibly even on sale here as well. So with that, let me stop fooling around with this get back to the game so we can see how this is but basically I've been playing this game for a little bit now and uh, it's kind of like a shmup a shoot 'em up uh, but it's also like a racer uh, where basically you're trying to get to the other end of the course as quickly as possible to get high scores that you can see your rankings on uh, like this here and be able to do well like for me I'm not doing so well <laughs> just learning it and you really have to concentrate on this game and uh, get used to the controls and that's part of what I'm having a problem with just starting is some of the controls where I think like the fire button would be a is actually Y, and you use uh, acceleration you use the ZL uh, for um, the ZL is actually a slow down and ZR to um, almost like slow down in, in bullet time in a way and then ZR is to speed up and accelerate so and then try to get as many points as you can by blowing things up on the way and then uh, what happens probably why this game is called Lost Wing is because you can lose a wing and but keep flying and still keep going but then you can gain some your wings back so but Again, this game releases on the 31st, and also thanks again to, uh, let's see, second, oh, come on, where is it? It's, uh, Too Awesome Studio. Thank you very much for giving us an early review code for this game and for letting us share it with our community. I'm always honored to be able to get these because, I mean, not, it's just awesome to be able to do this. I mean, I remember just being a kid and thinking that it was always cool for people to get games early and to check them out and tell others how they go. So that's why I'm always excited to share this kind of thing. All right, there is a tutorial. You can change the difficulty as well. Uh, I'm just going into the game. There is a tutorial that teaches you how to fly. Uh, you can gain ships and skins. I'm just going to jump right into the gameplay for the first level because I need to get more points to unlock the next level. Here are the controls. As you can see, you got left stick is to steer left and right. Um, there, is, there isn't anything which I thought would be kind of cool maybe to play with as if there were some um, accelerated, accelerated controls, um, accelerometer controls or whatever you want to call it. Um, or the ability to change your controls and you can't do that in the game here it's it's set the way it is uh, but you can see I can change tracks too for music left and right buttons so it's pretty some pretty banging tunes in here so I'm enjoying those I, I like uh, 
uh, electronic music so works for me if you're not a fan of electronic music you may not like it so but we'll see uh, like I said why is the fire and that throws me off because I'm usually used to seeing a as the fire button and I'm getting used to that and then you can use B to jump because you do have to jump over some things and it, I'm get, still getting used to the controls, so, and because I'm a dad, I guess I'm not as good at the controls, so you're going to see me crash a lot. <laughs> My kids will probably just pick it up and play it a lot better than I can. So let's get to this. So there's the slowdown. And there's my fire button. So I'm going to accelerate. See, I can blow things up and gain some points for that. See, I'm going to slow down a little bit there. Some points. Then i got to watch out and be quick. There's my jump. i got to be careful. And I'm holding down the acceleration button because I'm trying to get through this, I guess, as fast as I can. A barrel roll in case you are any fans of doing barrel rolls are out there so slow down a little bit. You can see on my on the bottom of the screen too you can see some of my personal bests uh, where I got to go and I got a bunch of little things that can't blow up. Oh this screwed me up last time. Oh shoot <laughs> God there's a I don't want to hit the flip thing. I oh that screwed me up. <laughs> yes, Quag, they do call my Canadian counterparts do call the ZL button Z. Alright, let's try this again. Watch out so I don't lose a wing here. I could have used that. Uh, gotta watch out for the lasers too. We'll take out a wing. Oh, see, I just lost the wing. And then I can get him back like this. So I just slow down a little bit there so I can see. Where... Oh, it's a little too close there. I'm trying to stay ahead of the game here. There's the barrel roll. And it's hard for me to move to the left because my wing is broken too. So it does affect my flight. Much better there. I don't hit anything. And I do I am noticing that this is much better in a bigger screen so I can see things. Not as bad as uh, in handheld mode. Because. Oh. So as you can see, I made it past my personal best. And you get three ships, you get three lives. Uh, so I'm down to one, I think. Oh, right, I'm seeing new things here. Ah! But this is a better way to see the screen, definitely. Oh! <laughs> See, all right, so I did a little bit better in that round, and I should probably, I should have just left it instead of just holding down the uh, accelerated button. I should have left it alone. Well, let's try this again, but I'll show you what it looks like without accelerating all the time, because I'm just used to just holding it down. I'm trying to get through it, I guess, as fast as I can. So this is normal speed. And, but you can see on the right there, I, my combos are not so well because I'm not going so fast. I'm not getting as much combo there. If I go faster, I get some better combos.
so that's why I'm just used to holding down the button. And I jump on the last a little bit, so I have to be careful not to hit too early so I die or crash it that way. Hitting it too early. I didn't hit that flip. I hope just would have screwed up even more. Alright, let's slow down. Oh, I lost my wing. And I hit the wrong button to jump. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I lost a ship. I got farther without losing a ship, I think. I need to change the music. Let's try changing the tracks here. Let's see what I can get. Too slow. Come on. Faster music. Got one ship left. I wonder if you can gain a ship. Quick enough to move. Need more points here. All right, there's my sh wing again. I needed that. Oh no! I hit that wall. All right, let's slow down a little bit here. I can get my wing. There we go. Yay, got farther. Oh, come on. I couldn't get that. Oh, boy. <laughs> My wing. I'm glad I could move over that way quicker. Oof. I'm not hitting the accelerator right now. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh my gosh, I didn't see this happen before. What the heck is going on? That. Oh, that. Okay, that's. That's messed up. Anybody see that? That's not fair, because it doesn't keep the same controls. What the heck? Well, I hope you got to see what this game is like. And I was getting better as I keep playing this game. And now that I can see what's going on, I can now see if I can get to that global best as I keep learning. That's my goal. But I hope you guys can see the different challenges that come up. So it's not just straight up flying through. You get those different things. If anybody is interested, you can go to the eShop, like I said, on the 31st and check it out there. Um, it is available, yes, on July 31st. I'm trying to get that information up again here. There we go. Let me sign out so I can see the price. Sign out.
Yes, yes, I want to sign out. Refresh the page. Lost Wing is 719 right now in the eShop. If you get it before the 31st, I'm not sure how long the sale will go on for. Maybe you can get it after the pre-purchase time for um, the same price, but it's 799, just you know, 80 cents more. Uh, the site says a pilot a super uh, pilot a super fast ship through brutal environments and try to top the leaderboards featuring numerous challenges ships enemies and traps it's a shot of pure unadulterated unadulterated adrenaline storm your way through three unique worlds beat each stage and destroy the bosses featuring an original electronic soundtrack multiple play modes stages ships and weapons lost wing is a perfect challenge for the most demanding players and this definitely is demanding. So has anybody got any questions before I sign off? Or want to see me keep trying? <laughs> I wonder if I unlocked anything. Let me see if I unlocked anything before I leave. Let's go check that out. Uh, let's see. Whoops, I hit restart. It's okay. I'll just go back to the main menu. main menu let's see if I unlocked anything by gaining some more points so you're level 3 XP to next level so I still need a million more points and in order to go to the next track I need to go to level 13 so I need to spend some time on this uh, first First track. Challenge, challenge. World. Wait. Oh, I'm gonna, okay. Let me go back now. So that's the tutorial. That's my campaign industrial. Forest unlocks at four. So when I get to level four, I'll get to play that one. And then there's eight, then 23. So there's that. Within this, in this one, Campaign Industrial, I need to get to 13 in order to Industrial Blast. Industrial Turbo, Industrial Precision. So in order to change those, I can I have to get to level 13. Okay, cool. And that was only on easy mode too, by the way, that I've been playing on, as you can see. You can go to medium, which unlocks at fifth uh, level. Ninth level, I can unlock hard, hardcore, and then back to this. And I apologize if you hear my AC going on. That's what that turbine is going in the background. <laughs> or that jet engine there. All right. So, I didn't unlock anything. Let me check my ships. Maybe I got a new ship. Nope, level 12. These skins, I got red, yellow, black at six. All right, green, red. Let's go with red. I can do that. All right, no questions? All right, uh, to all those who are watching, thanks again for stopping by and watching me play. Uh, I will play one more round, and then after that, I will sign off. Thanks again for watching. Check you later. Ooh. 
Ooh, different weapons. And I'm smaller. I didn't notice that before. I can get tinier with that weapon. Nice. No, I don't want to flip. Stay away from that. <laughs> Alright. Does that mean I'm bigger? I think I just got bigger. Stupid anomalies. Just trying to make it harder for myself. That was close. No, I jumped right into that. Uh, okay, that's enough for me. Thanks again for stopping by. Good night, peeps. Time for me to go to bed on the East Coast.